Hey guys. Hey guys. So, well, this is what I found on the Avatar Wiki, and this is Kuvira right here. She goes by the Great Uniter and Vera by her friends, and this is what I found. She died in 186 AG, then a, a, vic, a victim of the snap, and she was resurrected in 190 AG, and this is what I found. So, these are her actual family members. Leanne D. Lestrange is her mom. William D. Lestrange is her father. And it is revealed that she and Batar Jr. are actually re-engaged, had kids, Isabella, uh, Louisa, and Mirabelle, and has a cousin named Stanley, and Suyan is her adoptive mom and mother-in-law, same with Batar Sr., and her relatives. So, we know her love interest is Batar Jr., and she was like her fiancé, then turned husband, and so this is what I found. And it turns out she has a family, and. It does say Beifang family. He has adopted New Earth Empire, which I created. And this is her actual full name. Professor Kuvira Kualio Lion Beifang. Ni De La Strange is a master malbender, inexperienced witch, who served as a particle and military leader of the Earth Kingdom and Earth, the Earth Empire between 171 and 174 AG. For her rise to power, she was taken in by Sui Yung Beifang and became a prominent member of the Metal Clan. Serving as the captain of the Garden Zafu, part of the city, he danced troupe and Sui Yung's personal project and as her adoptive daughter, Following the outbreak of an anarchy in the Earth Kingdom upon Earth Queen Hu Jing's assassination, Kuvira left the Metal Clan and earned the trust of the world leaders. By stabilizing Boston Say and was appointed as the nation's professional leader. For the next three years, she subsequently set out to reunite the rest of the kingdom with her army, which under her the title of Great Uniter in her pursuit of order. General Kuvira offered to protect the nation's states from bandits in exchange for their loyalty. During Prince Wu's coronation, Kuvira then announced, then announced the authority of the Earth, Earth King and dissolved the Earth Kingdom in favor of an Earth Empire under her leadership. Her reign came to an end. However, her after she was defeated in Republic City and imprisoned <coughs> during the Galing Crisis, Kuvira was temporarily released into the Avatar's custody and brought a permanent end to the Empire. And she, she had created by forcing Commander Kuwan to surrender. In light of her actions and remorse, Kuvira was sentenced to house arrest at the Bifong Estate in Zafu. After she fulfilled the sentence, Kuvira eventually became the teacher of charms in Bunmori, a school of witchcraft and wizardry, and was later enlisted as part of Princess Fader and Bolin's anti Lord movement, joining them fighting in the global metal war. She was also engaged to Batar Jr., who left Zafu with her for her ideals. And though they instantly ended their relationship after Kuvira was willing to sacrifice them to 
will have a chance to end Avatar Korra's life that later patched up the relationship. Prior to this, Kuvira, following the global magical war, she recruited Tragic Homeland Intervention, Enforcement and Laws Logistics Division by Princess Fader, alongside her future husband. Serving internationally as an operative before withdrawal from combat after her traumatic experience in the line of service. However, she returned to the field when Fader asked her to secretly assemble a team for Batar and to monitor his recovery process. She worked with on the team on their mi- on all of their missions. When the Dark Ones of the Dark Dragon Lord were exposed to have implanted within the agency and the Dark One uprising again began, her true role on the team to be Fader's eyes his and ears on Matar was discovered, leading to a rift between her and the team. Feeling unwanted, she left searching to find out the truth about Batar's recovery. She found out the truth and brought it back to Batar Jr., who she rejoined. She helped to stop John Garrett and went with him to the playground to help restart S.H.I.E.L.D. Under newly promoted Batar Jr., following the war, Kavir Batar Jr., Re-engaged and later married, officially making Kavira a Bay Fong. So, well, if we take a look at this, this can be yeah, actually true since it's. Since the whole headquarters was Zafu Pine Prep, Zafu, and their affections are Princess Fader, United Republic of Nations, Republic City Police to some extent, and Magical Congress of the United States of Republic City, and Earth Kingdom to some extent. Same with Zafu. And. This is why I discovered and this is what I found and their last name is Tennyson. Yeah, that has been revealed as well. And This is what really happened to Kavira uh, and Batar Jr. and discovering how she became Suryan's adoptive daughter. Her and this is what it says: once known as the Great Uniter, Kavira having. Fulfilled her house arrest sentence, now serves as a respected charms teacher, her at Invermory School, as well as a warrior and uh, Suyin's adoptive daughter and Opal, Wei and Wing, who was adopted foster sister. She has been enlisted into Fader's army and is currently re engaged to her former fiance, Batar Jr. She is well known for her skill in magic and metal bending, her witty tongue and sharp mind, but has a tragic backstory regarding her parents. Her cold father having never loved her, nor given the love she really needed as a child before giving her to Suyin as a prodigy. So, that's all I have for today. So, I hope you like it. So, bye!